One benefit of using Discovery Live in your design process lies in its ability to quickly provide answers to your what-if questions and answer the question, is something possible? With the model shown on the screen, we'll illustrate this point. One design goal I have in this pipe-cooled heat sink is to keep the maximum temperature under 40 degrees Celsius. To get started, I'll add all the visible bodies to my thermal simulation. There's very few inputs needed to start the simulation, and the main one is adding to all the bottom faces a heat flow of 90 watts. Very quickly you'll notice the temperature distribution through the 3D model as the heat continues to flow. There's one important parameter I forgot to change, and that's adding a different material to the heat pipe. But in Discovery Live, there's really no mistakes. Just edit, and let the system continue a calculation. Discovery Live supports different materials on different parts, and in this case, the heat pipe material I created has a higher thermal conductivity, so that heat will more effectively flow through the fins. Currently, my max temperature sits around 32 degrees Celsius, but I have another design criteria to meet. The overall width should be 100 millimeters or less. Discovery Live is equipped with a full suite of editing tools that lets you select on geometry and start making rapid changes. I'll modify the length on each side to 50 millimeters for a total of 100 millimeters. Notice that you can make changes to geometry just as quickly as you can change input conditions in Discovery Live and just as quickly as you can change how you are viewing and looking at the geometry or even looking at results. Now that I've made that small change, I'll delete some of these fins that are no longer being used in the model. After that, I can see my max temperature is almost at 44 degrees Celsius, which is close to my requirement of 40 but slightly over. Now is when I'll start asking some what if questions to see if a certain direction is feasible. To help me in this process, I'll incorporate a graph of the max temperature, which will help show the trend of my design. One design idea I'm curious about is changing the overall width of individual fins. Instantly after I drag faces and components wider, I see how it affects the temperature. It did go down a little bit, but only about half a degree, which isn't much. Another change I'm curious about is adding to the length of the bottom fins by about 3 millimeters. That was a decent change, and I could continue experimenting by changing angles, making certain fins taller, or adding more fins. Another iteration with which to experiment is the overall width of the model. Let's go ahead and increase this by about 5 millimeters. After doing this, you'll notice on the chart that I'm getting closer to my original design goal of 40 degrees Celsius. As you can see, Discovery Live is an excellent tool for taking your what-if questions, modifying a 3D model, and instantly viewing the ramifications of your design changes. Imagine how your design process can change with it being faster and even more collaborative as you have instant answers to design directions. Do some experimentations of your own by visiting ansys.com discovery and requesting a free trial today. Thank you for watching.